Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com. We are an online training community for people who want to learn and get really good and awesome at Lightroom. And today we're going to look at a really cool tip. This isn't just a tip. I'm going to give you the preset to download for free. That is this awesome print layout for wedding books. All right. So I got the idea from this from a magazine called Perth Bride. So it's an Australian magazine. And they had this little layout where they were talking about some particular weddings. And on the right page, they had this little layout here. And so I rebuilt it. I thought, wow, that'd be a perfect thing to build in light in Lightroom. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like here. Let me kind of go to uh, let me go here and show you this picture one sec here. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. Here, let me hide all this junk, okay? So you have a big full bleed picture on the left, and then on the right page you have this layout. It's 11 photos. Now, we're not going to build the left page. You know how to build a big picture. <laughs> we're going to build this over here. We're going to save it as a preset. I'm going to give you the preset for download. All right, so here's how it works, all right? So let's go ahead and back, and let's get to a, a collection that I can work with here. So we'll go back to this one down here. All right, so these are the images I'm gonna build from. Now, I will show you where I built this first. I have it saved as a collection, so what you'll be able to do in the print module, let's go to the print module, no sense in being there. Go to the print module, here's the layout, right? And you can see it's, it's individual cells. And to make these, what I did was, I went over here to custom package in the print module. So I'm in the print module, I went to custom package and it basically take a look at what it is. It's a row of three, a row of four, and then a row of two. But it's just how you slice it. So it's a square, then a long one and a square, four squares, a big square, two little squares, and then this vertical shot. All right. So we're going to start from scratch here. I'm just going to get rid of all of this, right? We're just going to kind of clear the page. You can actually, if you go over here to cells you can hit clear layout and it will they will just all go away and so since this is mostly made up of squares i'm just going to start off with a very small square i'm going to click right here add to package so we'll add a square we'll resize it we'll hold the shift key and we'll kind of get it in place now if you hold the option key on mac or the alt key on windows you can drag yourself a copy and i'll drag myself a copy over here and we'll make it like twice as wide and then we'll drag ourselves another copy of this one. So we kind of, and we may have to adjust these a little bit, but do you notice they kind of snap to a little grid there? So we're going to have it snap to a grid like that, so they're pretty much in alignment. There we go, something like that. This one doesn't seem like it's quite right. Let's pull it out just a hair. There we go, because you want the same amount of space between those. So that's the top row. Next row down, let's hold that Option key again on Mac, or the Alt key on Windows. Let's get it to snap to the grid, and there's one. And we're going to hold the Option key on Mac and the Alt key on Windows. Drag ourselves a copy, drag ourselves another copy, and finally, let's actually hold the key before we drag. Another copy. You'll do a better job than I just did when you do it. There we go. So. If you see what's happened here, these two in the middle are a little too close. This whole thing needs to come over by a notch like that, which means this needs to come over by a notch too. There we go. So we have the top row. We have the next four. Now let's add another one. And this one is going to be as big as those two and as deep as two of these. So it should be go to about a perfect square. Then we're going to grab this and make a copy and make another copy here. We'll make that copy, click off it, then we'll make a copy. And now we can see if our height's right, and it's off by a little, you can see. So we're gonna make this a little deeper to the next click. There we go, and then we have one more to go. Make a copy here, line it up with the other stuff, and bring it down. And there's your layout, and it is all kind of Make sure everything snaps to its little, I'm just touching these and moving my cursor a little left and right to make sure everybody snaps to the grid. That's an invisible grid that you see below there. Then once you're there, you can now start just dragging and dropping things into place. And that's how it all comes together. And pop this up top, this one over here, 
and this one over here, and you can kind of put them where you want. I'm not sure this is the most accurate positioning of. <laughs> there we go. Just kind of and this over in the tall spot. And what have we not placed that? And maybe this one here. That's probably not the ideal. But anyway, there you go. Once you have that, all right, once you have that, you can save this layout as a template if you like. And I did. I call it SK11 Photo Grid. And you can see a preview of it up here, up in the preview area. So anyway, that is the, uh, that's the little video and a little uh, quick layout thing. So um, what I will do is here on LightroomKillerTips.com, which is a site that's produced by Kelby One, I will put a link here so you can go download it yourself. It is for an eight and a half by 11 size page, so standard letter size, and you can download it and then you can import it directly in here by going to one of your user templates and choosing import and that will import my free template to you my free print template right into your copy of Lightroom now if you like Lightroom and I know you do because you just watched a tutorial on Lightroom go over to kelby1.com take the 10 day free trial we have tons and tons and tons and tons of full length classes on every possible topic you could ever want including one I did on making wedding books now it's not just on waking making it's not a waking wedding books, I can tell you. It's not just on making wedding books. It's on the design and layout of the pages for wedding books. So I have two classes there, one on using Lightroom to make photo books and one on the design of wedding pages. And I show you all kinds of things that you might not even think you could possibly do inside the book module of Lightroom. But, oh, you can, and you'll be making beautiful wedding books very soon. That's over at kelby1.com. Thanks for checking that out, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.